Do you ever have those moments where you feel like your back is ready to go, whether you've been gardening, raking, shoveling, golfing, and you can feel like, you know what, one more movement, I'm in trouble? If you ever find that, I have a few tips that you can do while you're standing, because I know sometimes it's hard to get up and down, and all you need is something that helps you feel secure, like a tree branch or a wall. So I'm gonna demonstrate these using the wall. My name is Denise Beatty. I'm with The Fitness Fix, and I'm an exercise physiologist here to help you with some great ways to stabilize that spine before you have more severe damage. So first of all, make sure you have a secure place. Have your hands up on the wall, slide the shoulder blades back, and you're gonna feel like your body is basically like a pole between both hands. Turn to one side, get nice and deep. I am holding my bum and my abs in tight as I get close to the wall. Push hard into the wall to come up, and then the other side. So I want you to really understand that having this thoracic spine moving and your chest working can take massive amounts of pressure off that back immediately. It's a big deal. So that's the R, rotating push-ups. So this is your reset. The E is an extended spine. So you have that tailbone up on the wall. You're trying to arch your back as much as you can. And what you're gonna do here is hike up the right hip, turn to the right and pull back because most things that you've been doing have been rotating forward and or bending and rotating and that can really start herniating a disc to one side or the other. So arch, hike, turn to that side and pull into the wall. And then the other side, arch your back, hike the other hip up, turn to that side. So it's my left hip and the left side and pull into the wall. That's the E for the extended spine. You can do one more in the middle to finish it off right on. Now the next part is our S, and this is for our side planks. Having the obliques working can really help the back calm down. So have your right elbow up on the wall and your left leg in front of you. Lift pelvic floor and just tuck your hips under a little, and you're gonna open up the ribs and shoulders as much as you can, get close to the wall. Feel all these deep muscles kick in your abs and bring it back up. So I want you to feel those obliques working. Open up the ribs, brace the abs and come back up. Let's try that other side. Left elbow on the wall, right leg in front. Don't sneak your bum behind you. Try to lift pelvic floor and get everything as aligned as possible. And you're gonna open up the ribs, get close to the wall, push into the wall and come back. This can be very powerful if you're starting to have a bit of trouble. And back up, right on. You can finish it in the middle. You're just gonna push your hips away from the wall and then come up close to the wall and just keep lowering to wherever you feel like your abs and your hips still have you, but your back doesn't feel sore. If it feels like it's too much, don't go any further. So you might just have your hips out and then back to neutral. Okay, so that's your side plank combo. Now the next E in reset is for external hip rotation. You're gonna squeeze your glutes together, kind of like you're zipping up your butt cheeks, lift pelvic floor and tuck the hips right under. So get those glute muscles firing. It's a real quick fire. You can kind of shift your hips side to side, make sure both sides are working. The last one is the T for tuck your chin. If your cervical spine is unstable, your back won't wanna let go. So you bring the base of your skull up to your, along your spine. So you just don't wanna be forwards. Tuck your chin down, feel your neck abs work, have your eyes look down and pull your forehead into your hands. Take a few deep breaths, exhale fully. And come on up. So that's the reset, rotating push-ups, extended spine, side plank, and we had our external hip rotation and our tuck chin. I hope this helps you as a backup plan if your back ever starts going on you. Take care.